This is the end zone. Let's move the chains. Going into our top 10 teams in college football, now that really all the Power 5 teams have gotten the opportunity to play, including the Pac-12. So with that being said, I want to cover two teams really quickly just outside of the top 10 who I think could make a case. First, I have the Miami Hurricanes. Listen, I know that they edged Virginia Tech, a pretty good Virginia Tech team. Not great, but solid at the very least. Uh, my Miami was out of a lot of players because of COVID-19. Derek King had to put the team on his back. By the way, if you're not watching Derek King, you need to go watch him sling it and run for Miami. Uh, he is one of the better quarterbacks in all of college football. It doesn't really get much attention, doesn't get much talk. And then I have Oregon. Oregon, another solid team. Defensively, I love what they can do. I love how they are aggressive on offense in the run game. They like to pound it down your throat. Uh, Tyler Shuck is starting to get a little bit more comfortable in this offense. We'll see how they do. Still got a lot of their Pac-12 schedule ahead of them. Probably going to play USC in the Pac-12 championship. So we will see with Oregon. At number 10, I have Indiana. Ever since the controversial call of Michael Penix got against Penn State, they've pretty much been rolling and looked very good. Michael Penix show is fun. But listen, we're going to know everything we need to know about Indiana after they play Ohio State this week. That's going to be a huge game for both programs. And number nine, I have BYU. Now, BYU's offense, and their defense isn't getting much talk. Their defense is solid. But the offense, Zach Wilson, watch him play, please. I know if you don't want to watch BYU football, maybe you're not into that. Maybe you're an SEC or Big Ten homer or ACC, just into Power 5. Please go watch BYU and this offense. They are awesome. They're so fun. He is an incredible quarterback. But the strength of schedule is really the roadblock for BYU. It's lacking. They also don't have a conference championship. And there's a reason I have them number nine and not number eight. Number eight, I have Cincinnati. Really, it comes down to the common opponent. Both teams played Houston. And Cincinnati looked a lot better versus Houston. Also, Cincinnati's defense, I think, is one of the best in college football. They haven't allowed more than 20 points in a game, and that was the first game of the season. They've got dynamic Desmond Ritter at quarterback, but they play Central Florida this week. Central Florida's offense, I know you haven't been hearing much about Central Florida this year. It's still as high-powered as ever. That's going to be a great game, and we're going to see if this defense, it really how good it is, because playing Central Florida is not going to be easy to stop them. Number seven, Wisconsin. Only two games. Who cares? Ohio State's also not played that many games, and they're ranked very highly. It's Graham Mertz time. This offense is looking better than ever. Kind of reminding me of the days of Wisconsin when the offense was very good with Russell Wilson. It's been a while since that offense has been where it is today. Outstanding defense still. They still have a run game. Players out with COVID against Michigan. And bringing up COVID, that's probably their biggest roadblock. If they have any other games canceled because of COVID, I think that their season is basically done because I believe they can't get into the conference championship. And if they don't get a conference championship, I don't see how they get into the college football playoffs without a lot of games on their schedule. Number six, Florida playing at a high level. They are offensively a dream. Defensively, got some work to do. Got Kyle Trask, Kyle Pitts. I mean, this team is... And this offense, no shortage of fun. But they're number six because number five, head-to-head, still matters to me. Texas A&M beats Florida. But I'll say it's very close between number five and number six. You could easily switch them. I just i am going to honor that head-to-head. But Florida could pass Texas A&M if they keep playing at this level. And we're going to see Florida probably going to play in the SEC Championship versus Bama. I mean, if they beat Bama, yes, they pass Texas A&M. Now we're getting into the college football playoffs, the top four teams. I'll start with number one, Alabama, playing at the highest level. Everybody's knocking on their defense, but their defense is showing improvement. And, I mean, this offense is the best in the country, in my opinion. Number two, Notre Dame. The story of Notre Dame has always been, can Ian Book improve? And what we're seeing the last two weeks versus Clemson, versus Boston College, Ian Book is playing at a whole nother level. Notre Dame's starting to find a feel offensively. We didn't see that early in the season. I really like number 11, their wide receiver, Ben Skaronic. Tight ends are great. Uh, their running game is awesome. Good defense. Notre Dame sitting at number two with that big win over Clemson. Number three, 
Ohio State, no big wins yet, but I'm assuming they're going to get the win against Indiana this upcoming week. Uh, that'll be their first top 10 win of the season, and I think that's going to be great for Ohio State. Good test. And uh, I, I don't know if they beat Indiana. I don't see them jumping Notre Dame because Indiana, even without Clemson's best players, I, I don't think Indiana is as good of a win. Number four, Clemson lost to Notre Dame. They get a shot at revenge. If they can just keep playing at the high level, Trevor Lawrence going to be coming back. Their defensive players going to be coming back. I think that Clemson is a solid team and could get revenge versus Notre Dame in the ACC championship if both teams meet. Be sure to comment down below your college football top 10, any teams that you think should be in or maybe just outside. Thanks for watching the end zone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment so we can move the chains. Thank you.